one. So today's video is going to be my everyday makeup routine and I wanted to make this video kind of a chit chat video and me just kind of talking about the products instead of just speeding up and going right through it. So today's video is going to be a little bit longer and I'm going to be using some new drugstore products in this video so I'm super excited to share those with you and all the products that I do use will be listed in the description box below. So if you want to see my everyday makeup routine, just keep on watching. So the lighting may be a little bit weird and like bright. It's just because I have a studio light, it's kind of like cloudy out and I'm wearing a white shirt. So gotta try to not get this dirty. So, um, yes, I'm gonna be using new products. So well, let me get myself together here. So. First off, before I put on any of my makeup, I moisturize my face and I use this Pond's Dry Skin um, Cream or Moisturizer. And I, this one, I've used this for a really long time now. Like I picked it up when I was traveling, I think back in July when I went to the Dells. And um, I love this product. It's the best moisturizer, and I used to use the Mary Kay moisturizer, but um, I started to run out of it, so I had to start finding something new, like something different that I can like always purchase and stuff. So I remembered that I used it a while ago, way before vacation. So I thought I would pick it up again and see if it still works because before. When I was using it, I got dry, like, eyes and stuff, but this kind of heals the dry eyes, and I thought that I got the dry eyes because of the moisturizer, but that wasn't the case, obviously. So, I started using it again, and I actually have the bigger, like, larger size of it, so once this travel size runs out, that's what I'm going to use, and this is very moisturizing and it's very thick and it's really really nice and I always use it after I kind of cleanse my face and wash my face at the end of the night and it's really really nice so and then I use just a chapstick just to moisturize my lips um while I put my makeup on so they're not super dry and when I use lipstick and stuff or like a matte lipstick so like when I put that on like throughout the day my lips won't get really dry and then I usually put on um, my eye makeup first so that's what I'm gonna start with and I'm gonna use one of my everyday like all the time um, eyeshadow palettes that I always 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 use so we're going to do that and I'm gonna try to zoom this in so you can see just my eyes possibly so I'm going to use the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Bad to the Bronze. And I love this thing so much. I use that. And some people I've seen, they use like a brush to apply this. I don't. I just rub my finger in it. And like rubbing my finger in it warms it up so that it gets the consistency that I like. There's something in my eye. I just rub it all over my lid. And the makeup palette that I use, I use this a lot in my vlogs, like, and I always mention it, and I thought I would film a video of me using it, and I use it a lot, so it's like my everyday. So... the eyeshadow base because it helps the eyeshadow stay so I did that and then I have been using the Mary Kay brushes and I really like this one this is the eye definer brush and it works really well just to put shadow on my lid and the little palette that I'm using is my like go-to I use this all the time this is the Maybelline 
Modern Metallics palette, and since I've had this, they changed the name. I'm pretty sure it's called, like, Sunlit Bronze or something like that, but this is, like, the older packaging. This is the older packaging. As you can see, I use this shade a lot. Um, wait, it's called Sunlit Bronze on here, too. But, like, this is... Oh, wait, it is called Sunlit Bronze. What am I talking about? So... I've always called it the Modern Metallics, but it's sunlit. And I put this shade all over my lid. And I've been trying to find a new one of these, but I just can't. So, probably need to do that soon. But I put this shade all over my lid. I know some people do their face makeup first but I just find that really like stupid like I just don't that's like not even a smart thing to do because number one you're gonna have to go back through and retouch up your face makeup because your eye makeup is gonna be all over the place and like if you put stuff under your eyes and like you gotta like take it off or your mascara gets all over your face then it's just like you just wasted face makeup so I just find it better to do your eyes first cuz like they're like the hardest I think and they're the most messiest and I always get mascara like right under here so So in my crease, I put this, like, coppery shade. Focus. But it's just a copper, like, brown shade. And this is... I just love this. I just put this at the outer corner of my lid and in the crease. And then, oh, and that brush is the eye crease brush by Mary Kay. And then I'm going to use this brush, which I don't even know where this is from. Pretty sure it's from, like, online somewhere. It might be from Amazon. But I'm then going to take this color, and I forget what they say this is for. This is to line around the eye. But I'm just going to put this in my crease a little bit more. So it's supposed to go like below, like on your, um, like where you tight line. And then a little bit in the corner of your eye, like up there, like your crease kind of. But I'm just going to put a little bit in my crease. Blend, blend, blend. And kind of deepen the crease. Or like the outer corner, I don't know. And it does look a little bit messy and what I usually do is take a makeup remover wipe and just clean it up or you can use tape before you do this and that's what I do sometimes but I didn't really feel like putting on the tape today so yeah so that's kind of that and then I take my um, I usually use this for my brow bone color but today I'm gonna use something different and I'm gonna do that when I get more towards the face makeup so I'm gonna clean this up So that's kind of that and then I go in with my eyeliner and the one that I've been loving so much is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. 
I highly, highly, highly recommend this. It is so cheap at the store. Like, at Walmart, you can find it at the drugstores. Super cheap, super easy to use. And I, ah! I shouldn't have been talking while I was applying this. Shit. I'm just gonna redo this whole lid. That's why you don't put on your face makeup first. It's because you will fuck it up. And I just realized that I just brushed all my hair off on this towel and now it's disgusting. So, I had to take that all off and reapply. So now I'm going to do my eyeliner. This is VV Difficult. Talk this time while I do it. I got this one for Christmas. try to like use um, false eyelashes. I'm not totally against them because I kind of am tempted to get some of them. Like the popular ones like the Ardell Demi Wispies. I know people use like so many beauty gurus use those. Like all the ones that I watch use them. Um, I'm tempted to get some but I've never worn false lashes before so I'm kind of scared they're gonna like get stuck to my eye or something I don't know or like they're gonna pull out my lashes but a lot of people ask me like my friends sometimes ask me they're like do you have false lashes on and I'm just like no and it's honestly just curling your lashes and spending a little bit of extra time on them that make them look false or like very voluminous and stuff so I don't know I'm not 100% against them but I've never worn them before, but I get it if you like you have really short lashes, then a hundred percent use them. But I don't really have short lashes, so I've never used them. But um, I 
I didn't even mention which ones I was using. So I used the Rocket Volume Express and then I used the Mega Plush Volume and then I used the Lots of Lashes Great Lash and they're all by Maybelline because that's all I use. Um, so yes. Okay, next is face makeup. Just. Okay, so next thing is face makeup, and I wanted to show you guys some new stuff. Oh, so the primer that I'm using today is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser, and I've been using this for a really long time, and I really, really love it. Ready Set Gorgeous, well, Ready Set Gorgeous little foundation. Excuse me. The oil free foundation, and this is in the color 305. And I have not used this yet, and I'm really nervous because I don't know how it's gonna be. I'm not sure if I should use my finger to put this on. I'm gonna just like rub it on the skin. And I don't know if this is my right color. brush yet. I'm looking into getting some so don't sleep on you girl. Some people use the bottom. Never use the bottom. go down your neck whenever you're putting on stuff so you're just like it all blends out or blends and this probably shouldn't be going to my chair while wearing this because yeah no. and for the longest time I've never I never used to put foundation and stuff of by my hairline because it always made my hairline look really weird. But I don't know. I've been doing it recently and it's been decent. The one thing that I really like about it is that it's very mattifying and it's not really like, um, what would you say? It's not very oily, which is why it's oil free. So now I'm just going to conceal a little bit under my eyes just to do a little bit of that. And then I'm going to use, should we use this? Uh, this is the CoverGirl 
Ready Set Gorgeous um, Medium Deep Concealer. And I've never used this before either. And I'm just going to conceal some of my funky spots. This is the All Over Cover Stick by e.l.f. in Light Beige. And I know it's not really a highlighter, but I use it as a highlighter. And it's so good. I love it. So I'm just going to mix it with this all over my face. And this isn't really my everyday everyday. Like, I do not put on all of this every single day. But... The days that I go out with like my friends and we hang out and stuff, this is mainly what I do. I just don't use that foundation. I just wanted to try it for this video. Um, but what I do use is the under eye concealer and then I just highlight. And maybe I'll use this uh, Maybelline, isn't this? Yeah, the Pure BB Cream. I use this um, instead of the CoverGirl foundation. And I just wanted to try out the CoverGirl foundation because I just got that like a couple of days ago. So, yes. I think I got it on maybe Sunday or something. I don't know. So, yeah. But I really love the All Over Cover Stick by e.l.f. because it just brightens up my under eyes so much. And it looks so good. I love that look and some people don't but I really do. But oh, the thing that I used under my eyes was the Maybelline Instant Age Rewinder in Creamy Beige. And I think that's all I forgot to mention in that. And then I move on to um, powder. So I use the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder in Sandy Beige under my eyes to set my highlighter and then I put on a face powder and the face powder that I use is the Maybelline 355 coconut press powder and I love this stuff and I'm at pan literally but I have like two more so it's all good and I make sure to bring this down my neck too and this kind of makes my face look a little cakey like all this makeup I don't know maybe it's just the foundation I'm very iffy about the foundation so I use that and then for bronzer, which I use bronzer now and it's the best thing ever. But um if it's just basically every day or like yeah, every day mainly if I'm just running errands sometimes or something, I'll use this one. But if I'm going out with my friends, I'll use this one and this one is the 740 bikini contest by wet and wild love that but this time well right now i'm going to use the 739 to get to brazil and yeah it's one shade height i mean one shade lighter and i use the elf um professional bronzing brush but i messed it up when i was washing it so i have to get a new one of those pink wet and mild blush and I've been using this for a while now too and 
and it's really nice. And I just to the end. I just blend it all out with the brush that I use for my powder, and it kind of blends it out and also brings back some of that natural color. So that's why I use it. I got this little, um, what is this? It's like a highlighting little duo thing, and I've been using this recently to highlight. If I can get this one out, I'm gonna use this more tannish color right here, and I like to put that right in there where I put my e.l.f. all over cover stick and I used the brush that it came with because I haven't had another brush to use I just rub that right there is the Ultimate Brow Highlighter by Wet n Wild and I just recently picked this up too so I'm kind of nervous about it. I usually use the powder that comes with the eyebrow kit that I not the eyebrow kit, the eyeshadow kit that I use but not this time. And I'm just blowing this out. Oh this is real real nice. For my eyebrows, I use the Maybelline Brow Drama in Deep Brown, I think this is. Yeah, Deep Brown. And then I just brush them forward first. So brush them forward and that gets the color in them. And then I brush it backwards. And like shape them. which I just got. This is the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus All Day Wear Setting Spray. by NARS and I got this as a birthday present from Sephora and it's like a nude color so well a nude Soft matte lip cream in Stockholm. 